five. Dayton fire officials are feeling the heat after allegations that insufficient staffing is putting citizens at risk. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Our Megan O'Rourke met today with the fire chief and is live with his side of the story. The area here at Bellevue and Five Oaks looks like a war zone tonight. Five homes reduced to rubble after fire ripped through their walls and roofs. In fact, it was so big on Sunday that the Dayton Fire Department exhausted all of its resources, and some say that put the rest of the city at risk. Number 906 is no longer a home. It's a crime scene. One of five houses destroyed after an arsonist torched two vacant structures early Sunday morning. Speechless. Elizabeth Armstead stands next to the rubble in disbelief, struggling to understand what happened and who would do this. What? Maniac. What? <laughs> they going to tear them down? Why are you going to burn them down? Already this year, the Dayton Fire Department has responded to more than 100 arsons, a growing problem that the shrinking department is struggling to stay on top of. Shortly after the fires in Five Oaks, Dayton Fire Union officials voiced concerns that the department's staffing is too low. It's a safety issue for us as firefighters having to respond to incidents like this, it's an, and it's a major safety issue for the citizens having to deal with these kind of fires occurring on their block. Union officials say too much equipment has been taken out of service, and until restored, fires like this will continue to be a problem. Fire officials are now on the defense and defending the department. They say they're doing all they can with the money they have. Now, everybody is aware of what we are faced with. Now, if somebody can tell me where I can get overtime money from to staff this equipment out of my budget, I'm willing to listen to them. I haven't had anybody to approach me and say, have you looked at this or have you looked at that? But it's a mud smearing campaign, and I think that that's uncalled for. Fire Chief Herbert Redden says the Department of Justice lawsuit has prevented them from hiring firefighters. But later this week, 21 EMTs will graduate from the academy, allowing current staff to focus on fires. We are doing something. We may not be doing it as fast as certain individuals want us to do it, but we are doing it looking, keeping an eye on the budget and really realizing what we can afford and what we, not, what we cannot afford. And tonight, if you have any information that could help police catch the arsonist responsible for this mess, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. As always, you can remain anonymous and your tips could earn a cash reward. Reporting live in Dayton, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.